everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. And today I am showcasing the brand new and super adorable Stamp Timer collaboration set with Pink and Main and Simon Says Stamp. And this cutie is called Flurries of Love. I just adore the little snowman and the penguin and the cute little coffee mug that you could fill with the little critters. I think that's just adorable. So this is the stamp set and I'm going to be using it with the coordinating dies. The stamps have some really great greetings in it and lots of different images that you can combine together to create adorable scenes. I'm going to also be using this Dotty Whirlpool embossing folder from Simon to Stamp. This is a newer embossing folder and I just love this swirl pattern. I thought it looked like snow flying through the air and thought that would make a really good background behind my characters. So I'm going to emboss this and then use the raised side of the paper to do a little bit of ink blending. I'm using Cadet Ink from Simon Says Stamp to ink blend around the edges of this card panel. And I will actually end up trimming this card panel down a little bit so it's slightly smaller than an A2 card. And once I have that background completed, it's super simple, just enough to add a little color to the edges. And then we're just gonna keep that bright white in the middle with that fun texture. Moving on to some stamping, I'm inking up the images from the stamp set with Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink, and I'm going to be stamping these onto some Hammer Mill white cardstock. As you can see, I had a stamping fill here. I don't know why I lined up that snowman on that left side, because obviously it didn't fit on the paper, so I had to re-stamp him. But once I had all of my images stamped, now I can work on coloring. It's amazing how you manage to do something like that, and it makes absolutely no sense. Like, what was I thinking? For the coloring on my card project, I am using some fun Christmas shades. I do have all the Copic colors that I use today linked below in the video description and also on my blog. So if you're curious about those, you can find them all there. I particularly liked the color combination of R20s that I used here for the coffee mug. I used the darker reds for the stripes to create a candy effect. And then I have the lighter color for the main part of the cup. And I really liked that. For the snowman, I used a light blue to add some shading and then just left it really simple like that. And then finally, I brought in some other fun colors such as some dark greens and also some teals. I didn't use a lot of Copic markers here. I was actually watching a live stream um, on Hanging with Hero with Jen Shirkus on the live stream. And she said something that was really, really great. Um, talking about how you don't need a lot of Copic markers to be able to get some really good coloring effects. And what was funny is a lot of us were chatting in the chat for the live stream that we use the same markers over and over and over again because they're our favorites and we don't need all these different colors from the whole set of Copic markers. So if you're someone that's trying out Copic markers and just getting into it, you don't need to invest in all the colors. Just pick out your favorites and find some good ones that you like to blend together and they work really well. As you can see, I used probably two shades for most everything and then a couple of things I maybe used a third shade, but it was really simple coloring. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the coordinating dies and cut out my images. I'm holding them down with very, very low tech tape. It's my favorite for using with dies. And I'm going to also die cut this new die from Poppy Stamps. And it's this really cute little tree border. It's Nordic tree lime. And I'm going to use that as the backdrop for my images. I do wanna color that tree line with some ink. So I brought out cabbage and also artichoke. And I'm using those two colors just to add a little bit of shading to my trees, keeping the darker color focused towards the bottom. I am keeping the base white so that way it looks like a snowy hillside. This is going to get layered on top of our Dottie Whirlpool background, which I think looks really cool. I did use some foam squares from Simon's Stamp to pop this up right in the center of my card. And then I will trim off any of the excess that's hanging off the sides. Now you'll notice there are two little trees that are gonna get cut off when I do that, but I'm actually gonna save them because I want to actually glue them down directly to the card on either side, just so that way it finishes off the tree line and makes it a little bit more fuller. You'll see as I trim these off with my Tim Holtz recoil shears, you're gonna see how those trees just kind of look a little bit simple in the middle. And by adding those two on the ends with a little bit of liquid glue back in, that really fills it in. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle to the base of my snowy hill here. And that's with some Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue and some Distress Clear Rock Candy Glitter. I love clear rock candy glitter for basically everything, but especially holiday season because it really does look like snow. And I'm also gonna use it to embellish some of my images. I did this in a recent video, which I'll have linked to in the top right corner. It's a video I did with the Art Impressions exclusive, and I used that glitter to create some sparkle on some donuts. It was a really good effect. 
And by using glossy accents as my base for the images, that's a super clear adhesive. So it'll maintain the color on my images, but we'll get the glitter on top, which I think is a really nice effect. I'm popping up the coffee mug first, and then I'm gonna start bringing in my other characters. And those will also get adhered with foam squares. I used a combination of both a single layer of foam square and also two layers, just to add some extra depth to my dimension here. And I'm stacking my little snowmen together. So I have one behind and then the other one in front. And then of course the little penguin off to the side. I wanna ground that coffee mug with a little bit more of that glue and glitter. So I'm gonna put more craft tacky glue down and then I will add the glitter on top. Now the reason I chose craft tacky glue for the snow was because it's a little bit thicker of a glue. And so it adds just a little bit more dimension to that glitter. Otherwise you could use the glossy accents instead. You're just not gonna get as much dimension with that. Now what you're seeing me do right now is use a glue stick to adhere some pattern paper onto my A2 card base. And this pattern paper was just something I had in my stash from previous Christmases. So find something that you like that matches with your colors that you're using. That's what I did here. I just found this one that had a lot of the same colors that I used for my snowmen and the penguin. And so it matches really nicely. And then I just popped this card panel up on top of that card base. And then we're ready to just add a greeting at this point to wrap things up. So this greeting is from the stamp set and I'm using my Simon Says Stamp powder tool prior to stamping just so that way I can eliminate any static that might be on the paper. And this ink is some Simon Says Stamp clear embossing ink, which I will use to do the stamping. And that'll of course pick up the embossing powder that I sprinkle on top. And this is some white embossing powder also from Simon. All of my embossing is being done on some Schoolhouse Red card stock. It's one of my absolute favorites for Christmas because it's got that really nice intense red color and I thought it matched nice with the colors of my card. I popped my sentiment up along that top right corner of the card and that's gonna do it. This sweet little card features these fun little snowmen and of course the darling little penguin and I love how these combine together to create such a fun and festive Christmas card. Now, if you notice, the sentiments in the stamp set are great for more than just Christmas. They could be used all winter long. So if you love this stamp set, it's a great one for creating some wintry projects. I also really just love the illustrations of this set too. It's adorable. Now remember that this set is a Stamp Timber collaboration exclusive and is only available while supplies last. So if you love this stamp set, you're gonna wanna grab it while you can. I have links to it along with all the other products that I use today down in the video description and also on my blog. I hope that even if you aren't interested in the Stamp Timber exclusive, that this video and all the other videos that I'm creating for the Stamp Timber collaboration sets are inspiring to you, that you'll get some ideas from these videos that you can use in cards that you're gonna make on your own with products that you may already have. You don't have to use these particular stamps to create the same effect that I did here. So keep that in mind as you're watching these videos, especially if the collaboration set sells out these ideas are still usable on so many other different things. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy and thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. I'll be back very soon, but until then, have a wonderful day.